Hi, Hi friends. Hello. Austin, <laughs> the travel mom, and I'm back here with another travel talk. Have you ever wondered what it's like to travel around the world as part of a performance group, seeing different cities, different places? Well, today's guest has done just that. And yep. long before we became familiar with him on Dancing with the Stars, Keo Mozeppi was traveling the world as part of a dance troupe. And I'm super excited that he's here today. Hey, Keo. Hi. Hello. I'm Keo. Nice to meet you all. Uh, thank you for having me. So, yeah. I'm so glad you're here, Keo. Where are you right now? Uh, I'm at home. I'm in Los Angeles. And you're sticking close to home as part of the, the self-isolating? Yeah, I'm not happy with it, but um, I am doing it, you know, because I, I'm, I'm, I, it's also, it's, it's more bigger than myself, you know, it's, it's for everyone, you know, so I'm just following the rules and I'm just doing what everyone's doing. Yeah, we're all, we're all doing it. It's social responsibility and I, I'm yep. glad that you're doing it as well. So, Keo, you know, as I mentioned, yes. you have traveled all around the world as a professional <laughs> When's the first time you remember traveling with dancing? Wow. Uh, the first trip that I actually did, like the first travel that I did overseas, like when I was in South Africa, like overseas, was I think Germany, actually. Yes, Germany. Germany uh, and uh, Aschaffenburg was my first place to, when I traveled overseas. And then after that, it was just like all over. Like then I did Italy, London, but like uh, if I could, if I could uh, like remember the year, I think was when I was 11 years old in uh, August, I think. Yes, because it was the German, German championships. That's when we, our first competition overseas, yeah. Yeah, but I remember the year. I, I'm going to be lying. I don't remember the year. <laughs> so yeah. That was my first time. Germany was my first country to, to visit. So you've been traveling all over the world. Do you have any places that stick out as super memorable for you? Yes. Uh, I think Australia. Australia and Japan. Japan. I think Australia because of like, there were so many South African people there. So like, I there was something familiar for me, like to get connected to, like I was like, you know, there was a, a place called Nando's, like Nando's is like uh, a restaurant that we have in South Africa. And so seeing it there and I was like, oh my God, I'm home, <laughs> you know, it's like, and I started talking, people are like, yo, you from South Africa? I'm like, yeah, like, oh, I'm from Durban. And we started talking, I was like, yeah, what's up brother, who hunted? You know, um, yeah, I think that's why I loved Australia so much. And also the people are so nice in Australia. I, you know, it was just, yeah, it was just, it felt like home. You know, that's why I remember it very well. And I always have a special place in my heart. And the other one was Japan. Japan, Japan, I think, I like Japan because they made me feel like a rock star. <laughs> you know? You know, you're treated like a rock star because you are a rock star. <laughs> you know, but like, Japan was different because I'm so tall, and you know how, you know, in Japan, people are short, right? And I'm so tall, so people thought I'm Michael Jordan. So, like, everyone was like, Jordan, and I had a choice to make. I was like, it's either I'm just going to go with that, or I'm just going to be like, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 I don't need to play basketball, like, I'm not. But then I chose to go with it, like, I went to, like, you know, Michael Jordan's store in, in, in Japan. They gave me free stuff because they thought I was Michael Jordan. Great. Um... It was it was fun because I was like I get to live like like live like a like a basketball player like like an NBA player you know and I was like this is so much fun people taking pictures with me it was trust me it was hilarious it was so funny um, but like on a bigger note like with Japan it was I think the people though like the people in the culture the culture in Japan the culture in Japan the food and you know it just had the same culture as where I'm from because people. You know, they if I needed something, they could tell like, oh, he's looking for something. Let's let's ask if he needs help. You know, the English was not as a, as good, but like the fact that they they came and asked like, hey, you look at, at at the map. Where do you want to go? And I'll point, and then like, oh, this is where you go. And some some like there was like a group of ladies who actually one time I was looking for um, like a clothing store because I was wanting to buy clothes for myself, but because of every store, they don't have extra large because you know and uh 
there was like specific stores I had to go to. Like, and I'm like, hey, I um, need to go here. And they like, they asked to touch my hair. And I was like, okay. And like, I'm in Japan on the street. You know, the, the, the big crossing in Japan, in Tokyo? Like right there. And I'm like, like, hey, can you touch your hair? And I'm like, yeah, I guess. And I did this and they touched my hair. They're like, oh my God. I was like, oh, okay. Hey, I'm looking for this place. So they walked me through to the place and it was super nice. Like that was awesome for them to do because I've been to countries where people don't even look at you, you know? So, um, but yeah, Japan and Australia, I, I think they're my two favorite. Well, uh, your friend that we have in common, Tom Bergeron. Tom yep. Bergeron. I love Tom. I know you being one of his very favorite places to visit. Yeah. Uh, my daughter had the same experience when she visited Australia with the people. And I've been to Tokyo. And in Tokyo, yeah. the people are so nice and so yeah. helpful. And I really think that's the great gift about travel is yes. learn that while we're very different, we're very similar. That yeah. people the poor are usually pretty good people. Yes. That kindness and a smile goes so far. It does. It does go so far. Like, I, I, that's, I think that's one of the things I, I usually make, I make sure that I do every day, especially like, you know, we, we go through things, emotional roller coasters every day, right? But there's, there's times where like, I make sure no matter mood I'm in, like, even if I'm like, I just spoke to my mom and she just, she just made me angry with something. And like, I told her to do something and she did the opposite. I'm like, mom, why? Like, why are you, why are you not listen to what I just said? I just told you, you know? And then. And then from there, like, and that as you're a human being, like, you, it, it makes you upset because you're like, you should not listening. You know, then you have to go out. I always make sure that even if I go out, I'll smile. Even that smile is not, like, genuine because I'm like, I just have an emotional thing. But I'll put a smile on my face because I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to make sure that I don't want to take that energy that I have fighting with my mom to someone else. You know, like, if I see someone else, but I have that, I'm like, how are you good awesome you know and i just walk away you know but like she's gonna look at me and smile and stay with that smile and i'm gone you know what i mean so that's always my thing every day before i leave the house i always make sure that i'm like oh now like during this quarantine actually like i've been before i leave the house i just get to a point where like i just uh sit on the chair and i i just say a prayer i say a prayer and i also like just do like breath work. I just breathe, 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 breathe. And so like, I'm like, okay, I'm pu it's pure. The energy is pure, not me like a bad energy, but it's just pure and it's clear and I walk out. That's it. That's beautiful, Theo. I yeah. So. You know, my philosophy is that when we lift each other, the whole world elevates. Yep. And this conversation has just been so wonderful and positive. Thank and you. Positive. <laughs> that you've lifted other people so i want to thank you for talking with me and thank you i uh, look forward to the day when when we can get together in person when i'll oh. find us yes ma'am yes ma'am thank, thank you for having me bye-bye ciao